All right, so uh, we do have a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, February 10th to February 16th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in your personal reading with me, uh, you're more than welcome to check out my website, uh, which, which link you're going to find in the description down below of this video. And there as well, you're going to find a link to your other video of the week, which is focused on a career and business. So uh, that being said, moving into the reading straight away here. Now, the first card, which stands as the topic of your love and relationship <clears throat> week is going to be the, the, the king, excuse me, of swords, uh, followed by the next one, which stands as the energies feeding up the situation. Here we do have the tower card. Furthermore, the next one, it is the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week in term of love and relationship, and that stands as the four of wands. Uh, then what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy in term of love and relationship here, Cancer, and that will be the five of cups. Furthermore, it is how people are going to take on you, how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression you're going to uh, you're going to leave into your um, personal interest, into your lover and etc, etc. That is to be the nine of swords. And the final card we have for you guys, which represents the guidance that Saru is offering in terms of love and relationship, that is to be the judgment card. All right, so not on the easy side by a, a long shot here. Now, we do have the topic as the King of Swords and the Tower card as the energies which are feeding up the topic. And these two cards are screaming for that your emotions are going to start running cold towards a certain person or toward a certain situation with a certain person, regardless it will be a time where you cannot anymore, how do I say it, um, believe blindly that the best is yet to come. These situations usually are accompanied with constant disappointment going from the person that you are simply expecting more. So the Tower card here points that... Um, this situation you are having either with your love life as a single individual, you know, or with your suitor, with your, with your uh, personal interest, or with your beloved one, if you will, it needs to actually undergo a certain um, a transformation. But that transformation isn't a something that it is like a walk in the park. That transformation needs to be like uh, uh, the best example I can give you is a, a blacksmithing. All right. So you kind of forge it through a hammering it and moving it through fire. Therefore, um, how can I say it? You have to um, confront, it is the best word I can, uh, I can use here the unpleasant side of the current situation you're finding yourself at. And this is exactly what is going to uh, move your emotions to start running cold based on the constant disappointment that you are facing. Now, that disappointment doesn't have to be something huge, okay? It could be just a small pieces of it, but it kind of like it will start reaching its limits here into uh, this particular week. And it is where the situation of the um, King of uh, Swords really starts kicking in. And that is the situation where either the... Um, <clears throat> Either the position you are finding yourself in, in regards to suitor, or in regards to person of interest, or in regards to in relationship, works for you, or it doesn't work for you. It has nothing to do with your emotional state. What I mean here, it is that you can love someone as much as you like, but if what they have to offer to you does not work for you, then we can't even talk about moving forward into the future with those people. So that is a something that you are going to identify for yourself. And those energies of the Tower card are going to uh, seriously push you into direction to, uh, to dig up deep. And if you will, start a digging up into a old wounds or reopening old wounds, just so you can see is really uh, that's, um, that, that, 
state that you are finding yourself in with a lack of empathy, if you will, towards your person of interest or towards your partner, can it be overcome or can it not be overcome? Now, you need to know here that with the uh, energies of the Tower card, when you undergo that process of forging, once that relationship or whatever situation you do have is quenched, it's going to be like forever, all right? It's simply, there is no breaking it from that point. And uh, <clears throat> here, it, uh, the, the whole thing is going to require from you to be very analytical as well. Uh, now, on the plus side with those uh, two cards, there is no issue that can stand in between your wife or your husband or, uh, you know, in between the person that you are with that cannot be resolved. Uh, simply because those two cards here are standing as a, if you uh, give yourself time and not just only to you, but also to the person that you are with or that you want to be with, a time to analyze the situation enough, a definitely a, a path, a, a clear path through difficulties is going to be revealed. So you can definitely reach a common ground. But once again, it all comes to that. Is it work for you or it, or is is it not working for you? Because the King of Swords is like a, uh, is like a machine and everybody needs to, uh, and everybody and everything is a part of that machine. It needs to do its job, all right? If it doesn't do its job, then the machine is broken and that machine itself, it is, it is your relationship or a future relationship or a current interaction and et cetera, et cetera. And that needs to work. So everything needs to uh, kind of like um, do its part. In it, and if that if that's not the case, then uh, you will not be able to undergo this forging itself. And from there, uh, probably we are going toward rather more um, separation, for example, or uh, toward a, a, a drafting aside. But even if that's the case, even if you uh, start contemplating over a uh, separation, say, or changing rules, that may not be definitive. What I mean it is that with the Tower card as energies, more often than not, you know, when one relationship breaks, it is like a shattered glass. You can always pick up the pieces, you know, and reassemble them back together. And when that happens, you can reassemble them based on your own personal image. So for some of you, Cancer, that could be the breakup that the relationship requires so you can become in a more higher awareness of how needs to move forward. And after, let's say, a couple of months, a half a year or maybe a year, couple of years, who knows, you are to reconcile this time around much more uh, in a much more mature state. So next one here, it will be in terms of the challenges that you will need to overcome in terms of a love and relationships. And that is the four of wands. And that card in terms of love and relationship only points to the uh, how can I say it? Um, having a reason to move uh, to move forward, or to or how can I say it? It's like a uh, um, finding a goal for the next step of it. It's it's very difficult to explain it, guys. It is like you are reaching a certain point, right? And then what is the next? What is the next step? What is the next point? And that is going to be a challenging for you to identify. Additionally to that. Um, this card may point that you are not exactly happy with the results that you are finding and you are going to struggle to um, actually um, appraise the uh, the state of the relationship or the interaction that you do have, say you're dating someone that you're finding yourself in. And in the very worst cases, that card here may point that you are overlooking something very important about your suitor, about your husband, say, about your wife or about your a partner that you are finding yourself with. Our next one is going to be in terms of a um, gifts and blessings that you can enjoy and that correlates with what we said about the tower card that even if that is the uh the end right now it's not going to be the definitive end all right but it is rather whatever loss you are to suffer in terms of love and relationship is going to be just a temporary one and not a permanent and you can take off 
from uh, a certain point into the future, reassembling back that same relationship that you may lose throughout this week. But that card, but that card here points as a gift and blessing. It is that none of the disappointments that you are to face, just as we said here at the start, that are going to run to make your emotions run cold. All right, are not going to be crucial disappointments. So if you are finding let's say your marriage and your wife is disappointing you quite a lot you know or you're finding your relationship um, quite substantial but your partner is disappointing you quite uh, quite a lot now this card here is a testament that you can definitely work the things through but once again it will require a careful analysis over the situation from both of you finding the common ground finding the right answer for each a one of you as well so how people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people and that is a little bit of a dangerous card here uh because uh, i don't know how to exactly explain it but it is more like a people are going to become more cockier especially if uh we are uh, especially those people that you're emotionally related with because they are going to find you as a, someone who wouldn't dare to leave them that someone that uh, it's simply that is going to be their last resort okay and that gives a, a green light to many people to do whatever they like it's because they know that they're going to get away with it okay they're no different than for example into a, a marriage where the wife is cheating on the husband and knows that the husband is never going to leave her it is because it's dependent it, it, it depends on her for a certain things but you know that thing that particular state it has its its end of the line so to speak and at some point it is just whatever that unfaithful person does takes the cake and the other one it is just have have enough of it and it doesn't matter how much it costs it simply makes the definitive move so now you are going to be on the flip side here okay you are going to be the person who is who is to be seen that you know is going to forgive everything and whatever the other one does it can actually get away with it and it is up to you to prove them wrong all right you gotta show them that it's it's like uh, kind of like you, you you can step up for yourself all right and that you're not gonna tolerate for example in subordination uh being unfaithful or uh, it's kind of like to mess with you around or it's to, to toy with you to play with you and etc uh, etc et and the last card that we do have for you cancer in term of love and relationship here that is to be the judgment card and it's kind of baffling that we do have that we do have this card into that particular position because the judgment here points that uh, first of all this week is going to be quite major actually that is going to be the week where you either make it or break it in terms of relationship this is uh, if you are a, undergoing a um, interaction or if you are undergoing how can I say it? A, a troubles into a one relationship. That is exactly how the card is interpreted, especially as a guidance into this uh, into this situation. So you have to be mindful what kind of a uh, words you are giving into your relationship throughout this week. What kind of an actions you are taking as well, because they are going to have a huge outlook outlook moving forward into the future. And you, you at the end of the day, you will have the the last call. Are you going to make it or are you going to break it? And it will depend entirely on your own personal decision. But what also the card here says is that you have to aim to fit the shaft with the hub. This is pretty much the expression that I can find the best or rather like to piece everything together in a, in a, in a sense and in a term of how it works for you. And this is where we come once again to the topic itself of the reading that if it doesn't work for you, then it is not for you and you shouldn't have any remorse uh, nor a fear nor a pity or a commiseration and just, you know, leave it stranding. So that being said, Cancer, this was your love and relationship tarot reading, guys, for a February 10th to February 16, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a, a such. And also in that very same description, you're going to find a link to your business and relation and career, excuse me, tarot reading. So that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.